welcome to Dynamic Mental Fitness Training's presentation of Neurosculpting Video Training for improved mental concentration, better mental focus, and stronger willpower. In this final part of a six-part series, we wrap up our discussion on the characteristics and processes of the problem that is procrastination, as well as provide you with yet another effective technique to pull you out of any unproductive mental pattern and put you back on the path of forward progress. During the initial stages of your training, the temptation for procrastination, which has doubtless been a part of your life from time to time, will present itself and seek to snare you in its trap, expressing itself in the attitude of simply not feeling like it. And as we've learned in the first five parts of this series, procrastination has no power and control over you unless you have no power or control at that specific time when it comes to your thoughts. When the time comes to do what's necessary to complete your duty or to do what's necessary to accomplish your objectives, the phenomenon of I don't feel like it is not only devoid of relevance, but is an entirely deceptive illusion perpetrated by a hidden thought, an insidious, inhibiting impulse that, once exposed to the heat of your unwavering attention, becomes interrupted, fades away, or is displaced by a new mental state. Without your participation in the mind games that happen during its subtle process, procrastination simply can't occur in your life. In other words, only when you are not in command of your attention, when you are asleep at the wheel, does procrastination take command of your mind. As a neurosculpting trainee, that kind of mental enslavement can soon be a thing of the past. You must never fail to act merely because a psychological state of I don't feel like it occurs in your mind. Instead, you must use each incident as a warning signal to immediately become alert to your current thoughts and accompanying emotions, taking wise note of the fact that a mere emotion-laced thought is attempting to stop you in your tracks. This approach allows you to serve as a sentry standing guard duty over your own mind, over the movement of thoughts within it, to ensure that only the ideas that align with your sincere will gain a foothold. By quietly monitoring the continuous motions of your mind the way a scientist calmly studies an object under a microscope or through a telescope, you can become an uninvolved observer immune to any conflict, turmoil, or negativity you perceive. To master this ability is to acquire a rare degree of personal power. As you increase your skills, you simultaneously enhance your mental concentration, mental focus, and willpower. sixth mental tool for breaking out of a procrastination mindset is attention shift with targeted observation. The approach is based on a thought control tactic known as signal interrupt. Any negative or distracting thought, emotion, or mental pattern can be interrupted and rendered ineffective in your mind by immediately taking willful control of your attention and redirecting it so that you patiently, scientifically observe the nature of the thought with its emotional content, without participating in anything that you perceive during the observation. This tactic aligns with our previous lessons about procrastination only having power in your mind as long as you fail to exercise power over your attention. When in control of your attention, you are also in control of your perception. Therefore, while consciously, purposefully guiding your attention in a demanding task, you cannot simultaneously be immersed in and suffering from any negative thought. At the onset of the feeling of resistance, of not wanting to do, of procrastination, Will yourself to stop whatever you are doing and gather your attention to place it onto a target, such as your breathing, 
or the fact that you're in the room you're in, or perhaps a spot on the wall or the feel of the clothing on your skin. Any target will do for a brief moment. The effect should be one of snapping yourself out of a daydream. When you do this, the movement and feeling of the thought-based incident should still be resonating in your mind because it generally will not instantly vanish. The result demonstrates that you have the ability to snap yourself out of a thought, which also reveals the profound truth that your intellect is distinctly separate and larger than any stream of thought, a fact that can be illustrated by your ability to fantasize whenever you wish. The more you grow to understand this, the more it will help you in your training. The instant you have your attention gathered onto a new target, shift it back to the still resonating thought. That is, try to notice the thoughts running through your mind at that very moment. When you first try this exercise, it may help you to ask a focusing question, such as, what thought did I just have? Or, what thought am I having that is causing this resistance? Then again, the thoughts and feelings may have been vivid and potent enough that their presence is somewhat obvious. Do not participate by reacting to what you perceive, but objectively note the content and nature of the incident, even describing them to yourself or writing down a note regarding what you observe. Just as you would not leap into a lion's exhibit at the zoo, avoid casting yourself into the mental fray. Remain distant. Do not resurrect the incident or give it life by attempting to relive it. The natural course of every thought and emotion that arises in your consciousness is to fade away. Thus, you should allow it to do so as you observe it. If it does not fade away within a few minutes, then you are most likely keeping it alive by participating in some very subtle ways. Next, expand your perception and widen your attention to observe the effect the incident is having on your body, be it tension, anxiety, or something else. Feel free to take slow, deep, purposeful breaths and note how that releases tension and at the same time, further distances you from the ongoing thought-based experience. Maintain your task until the thought and emotional content tied to it loses all physical effect, even if the thought does not entirely die away. The important thing here is to discover that you have the ability to interrupt the ongoing pattern by placing it under the microscope of your attention. Finally, Begin the first small, simple action of the task that your mind was trying to avoid, and do it in such a way that you continue to snap yourself out of any daydreaming in order to hold your attention on the details and steps of the task itself. If you discover yourself caught up in a thought as a participant, repeat the process so that you can eventually become a master of thought rather than its beast of burden. This has been a Dynamic Mental Fitness Trainings presentation of Neurosculpting Video Training. If you need further assistance, you can contact a Dynamic Mental Fitness Trainer via the email address of trainer at neurosculpting.com. That's N-E-U-R-O-sculpting.com. Or by internet phone using Skype. The Skype address being dynamic.mental.fitness.